Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on functions. In this video, I'm looking for x values that allow one function to equal another. In other words, if this is f of x, and this is g of x, I'm looking for this and this, the points at which the functions intersect. Okay, so here I have two lines, f of x equals 17x minus 8, and g of x equals 23x plus 10. So the way I find the intersection point of these two lines, I just set them equal to each other. I say 17x minus 8 equals 23x plus 10. I subtract 23x from both sides and I get negative 6x minus 8 equals 10. I add 8 to both sides, negative 6x equals 18. I divide by negative 6, and x is equal to negative 3. I can always double check by substituting these into both equations. I will allow you to do that on your own time. For now, I am going to move on to the next problem. Here I have a parabola, here I have a line with a parabola and a line, parabola, line. It could be two, it could be one, it could be none. So really, it could be any of these three situations that I'm looking at. All right, so let's see which one I have in this setup. So I have x squared plus 10x minus 23 equals 8x minus 8. Because I have, in this first example, I only had a singular x. So I isolate it. I get all the x's on one side, numbers on the other, and divide it. Here I have an x squared and an x, so I have to move everything to one side, factor and solve. So I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides. x squared plus 2x minus 23 equals negative 8. Add 8. x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals 0. Because the leading constant is 1, I just need to find two numbers that multiply to 15 and add up to 2. I'm going to start with 1 and 15. I start with 1 and 15 because I need to figure out my signs. 15 is negative, which means either the 1 or the 15 is negative. We're adding up to a positive, which means the 1 should be negative and the 15 is positive. Negative 1 plus 15 is a positive 14. That is not correct. Next, I go to negative 3 and 5. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2. That is what I am looking for. So I have x minus 3 times x plus 5 equals 0. When two numbers multiply to 0, one of them has to be 0. So it's either x minus 3 equals 0 or x plus 5 equals 0. So x is equal to 3 or negative 5. There we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.